Tell you what, guys, picked this one up the other day. This one here, man, if you need woke up, this one here will woke you up. <laughs> Just kidding, wake you up. All right, so Ben's heading out of here with the log splitter. Uh, if you guys don't remember, Ben's the one that dropped the gravel on the front of the driveway for me, uh, I think winter time, maybe early spring. But uh, yeah, he's got a bunch of pine. They cut a bunch of pines down at his house, so he's gonna go split them up and be done with it. Good morning, everyone. TQ's over here rehydrating. <clears throat> Bro, I got a trash bag right there, and you just chucked that bottle into the back. You know what's funny? I put that trash bag right there this morning. Well, what the heck? I just thought it'd be cool, you know? Now, we do clean the back out every single night, so we kind of just, you know, we're used to just drinking or flipping. Yeah. Uh, used to have a bucket there, but that came up missing. I don't know what happened to that. I think uh, somebody turned it into a flower pot or something. Uh, wishing well or I don't know. Or a salt bucket. Yeah, rocket ship. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, though, it's burning up out here on this beautiful Monday morning. Monday already. Our lawns are looking fantabulous. Yeah, they're green and they're growing and we're so excited about that. Absolutely, because it gives us something to do. It does. Because, you know, when you just don't have anything to do, you start thinking of more stuff to do. And then that makes or more stuff food. to do. Yeah. Cook food. Oh, yeah, talk about food. I'm hungry. Gotta use what you got. As the day gets hotter, a little bit later into it, you know, TQ is gonna break out the gun. I cut mine off of this one. But the sun's out, the guns are out, baby. But then it's like, mm, I'll wait because I don't want the grass all over my lips. But, oh, it's so bad. How many of you have that issue? Like, seriously. Come on, don't lie. <laughs> I definitely wasn't lying when I said I was hungry. Let's eat. A couple hard-boiled eggs. Super simple. Sprinkle a little salt on it, and we're good to go. We're heading to the next property. Is that good? Yeah, we're good. This is definitely something we do at home. Yeah. We're on the road and uh, busy. Yes. Let's go. So a bunch of you keep asking which one of the uh, grabbers we use. These are called Dot Reacher, 40 inch model. They work pretty good guys. I mean, they're not perfect. I don't think any of them are, but they definitely help out. That's all kind of bad. So I saw a video the other day, grass was grown up inside it. Let's see about our company. Nothing. Boring. So happy this property bounced back. Really nice. But the pond's almost empty again though, so that's not good. We haven't had any rain in about a week again, so it's pretty for rain.
This is our second biggest problem commercial wise. She's waving if you guys don't see her. So the number one tip I can give you when you're trimming, trimming around gravel here, or rock anything that will come loose and can hit you, is the same advice I'll give you if you go to prison. Keep your mouth shut, because those rocks, if they hit your teeth, it's going to be a bad day. Little tip. Right, guys so just got here to the park about to start running I'm gonna change it up a little bit today instead of just doing you know as far as I can run or putting in a couple of miles whatever my shin splints have been feeling better but uh we've been getting in better shape huh that's right I'm gonna change it up though I'm gonna start with just doing a mile and I want to basically see how fast I can do it you know I'm gonna try to exhaust myself uh, instead of just like putting myself at that steady pace and then running uh, I think my fastest so far was like 10 minutes, 56, 57 seconds. Uh, so I'm going to try to beat that. I'm hoping for 10 and a half minutes, let's say. You can do it. Let's go. Just got done with our workout. Currently 92 degrees. So how'd your workout go? It went good. Yeah? It was pretty quick. I, uh, I'll share with you guys here in a second how fast I did my one mile. I actually impressed myself. Uh, I think I could have even done it a little bit faster. I felt good kind of opening up running more full speed rather than just collecting and uh, holding a steady pace which is fine for a long distance yeah but uh pumping at one mile I was striding out pretty good but uh proud of you thank you proud of you too thank you every single day just a little bit better uh pushing ourselves a little bit harder eating healthier cleaner and uh yeah just having fun enjoying life I, I did you? Uh, by the end of the week, you know, going into the weekend, so I just got it right here. Only me and you know. Yeah. So. Well, that's where it all starts, up here. Yeah. And you just got to make yourself do it. All right, guys, we found this awesome recipe online, smoked pig shots. What you see here is all you really need. We're going to throw some together, and we'll see how we like them.
like so. So basically you just want to make like a cone, like an ice cream cone that you can put your nice cheese sauce there into. And the cheese so sauce consists of any shredded cheese, cheddar, um, we have a Mexican blend in ours, um, cream cheese, a package of cream cheese. Make sure it's room temperature so it's easy to um, spread and mix together. And we have jalapenos and that's it I think. Yeah, and it's quick and easy. So turn this way a little bit and show them exactly how you're making one of these. Okay, so we have this here. You can make these thicker if you want to, but you just kind of roll it up. Like so. And now the toothpicks are wet so that they don't burn. We soak them for about 30 minutes and it makes a little pocket there you can stuff the cheese in. All right guys, now that this is all wrapped, you wanna just take your cream cheese filling and put a little bit in the center. Kinda of stuff it down in there. Now they recommend using like a little lunch bag, sandwich baggie, and just kinda of squirting it in like, uh, I guess frosting or something on yeah. a cake or a cupcake or something. But we're using a little bit bigger chunks of jalapeno because we like jalapeno or jalapeno or jalapeno. <laughs> however you say it. But uh, it's, all you gotta do is get it down in those holes, guys, and you'll be good to go. It smells so good. I wish you guys had smell of vision. <laughs> Just take a bite of this filling. All right, guys, so we preheated the Traeger to 350 degrees. And now what we have here, this made about 16. If you had more kielbasa, it'd probably make more. A pack of bacon, and the, the mixture is cream cheese, shredded cheese, jalapeno, and you can put it whatever seasoning you want for, from the grill. And this is just one pack of cream cheese, right? Yes. How many jalapenos? Eight ounces. That's just one good size one. Okay. We're gonna pop and it one pack here. of bacon. Yes. And they say 45 minutes to an hour. Basically, you want to make sure your bacon is nice and crispy. I guess it all depends on how crispy you want it. We'll be back. It's time for these bad boys to come off. It's been about 55 minutes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. Let's get these babies out of here. So there you have it. Link for the recipe down in the description. This looks delicious. I can't wait for TQ to get here, finish up the asparagus, and we get to eat dinner. So as always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out. Peace. Bye.